Welcome to my first dev vlog. My name is Chrissy and I'm the solo game dev of The Lost Hotel. Please be kind, this is my first time recording myself. Before I start with the development process, first some words about me. I've got a master's degree in computer science with media applications, which in Germany is called Medien Informatik. And I work part-time as a software developer for web applications. Since I was a kid, I created my own stories and wrote them down or drew them as comics or mangas. Since I can remember, I played video games on different consoles like Sega, Game Boy or even the Atari. I might be born with a controller in one hand and a pencil in the other hand. At about 12 years old, I wanted to create my own games. First I learned how to create websites as showcases for my drawings and then I learned PHP to build browser games because I wanted to build something similar to Neopets. I'm a member since... Uh, 18 years and I come back every December for the advent calendar as a tradition. I've never really finished a browser game and they were all shitty. <laughs> But for a few months there was a game called My Plant Online with a very small community and an avatar, the last airbender browser game with not a single user, but I used it as a show off for job applications later. During my master studies I had the chance to take part in a course called game design and I did not hesitate for a blink of an eye to take it. I learned how to develop games with Unity and created one level of a game called Cats in the Woods. Because I love cats and woods. You can see the walkthrough video of this level here on my channel. I had so much fun creating this game with its own little world, characters and story that after finishing my degree I immediately started to develop a mobile game called Alpacas in Space. Because I like alpacas in space. I didn't finish it and I will soon tell you why. You can still look at some of the game art I did on my Instagram account alpacas.in.space. After becoming very demotivated by not getting to finish my game and after steering my career into a more creative direction, I started to think about a new game idea. I wanted to put all my heart, brains and creativity into it and get this thing done. So the Lost Hotel was born. The lesson I learned from failing with alpacas in space is that I should not start developing before even having an idea about the game itself. I didn't have a plan of how the goal of this game should be and why people should play it. I started with developing the multiplayer mode and didn't even know where to go with it. That was a mistake. I also overdid the graphics because I hadn't got any experience in vector animation and creating tilesets. Instead I feel very confident in creating pixel art and since I always did pixel art during my browser game time and because I grew up playing Game Boy, especially Pokemon, it's actually very clear that the only game art that works for my own game is pixel art. I took some inspiration for The Lost Hotel from games like Stardew Valley, Eastward and some Kickstarter indie games like Chef RPG. You should really check it out, it looks freaking awesome. I kept my demands on my own art very high. Therefore, I decided to start with creating the pixel art first and then put it into my game and write the code. It feels easier this way to stay motivated when I only need to put the puzzle pieces together in the end instead of replacing dummy graphics and working with flat unfinished stuff. I am a visual kind of person, it's hard to convince myself that something will look good in the future. Plus, if the game fails, I still have some cool pixel art left. Promoting my work is also a big aspect during the development of my game. Because I want to start a Kickstarter campaign next year and reach as many potential players as possible, I created an Instagram profile and for the first time in my life a Twitter account where I post regularly. Talking in front of a lot of people makes me anxious and since I've always been very introverted, it was a huge challenge for me to voice over this video. But I actually plan to post more devlogs of the Lost Hotel soon, including speed pixeling and insights into the planning process. So stay tuned with me and we will meet us again in the next video. Have a nice day and tschüss.